Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have something absolutely epic to take a look at, something I've been so hyped for. We have the Habitat Defender Triceratops from Mattel for their Jurassic World Dino Trackers line. You can see the packaging looks pretty nice, you know, pretty much your standard. You've got that nice open area for the Triceratops, and you can also again see the Dino Trackers label right there. And you can again see the Habitat Defender Triceratops name down there. Looks awesome, like I would definitely say it's the best triceratops that we've had from Mattel so far and then when we turn the figure here around you can see something that you probably already had seen on the front but you can see the figure is actually made from recycled plastic so that's pretty cool letting you know that uh, you know Mattel is doing their part to go a little green I guess but you can see a nice shot here on the back of the box again of the Triceratops so it's awesome that we finally have a really nice very large sized Triceratops from Mattel and I am beyond excited to pop this out of the box and check it out in all its glory so let's do that right now so here is our Triceratops in all its glory. And man, does that look awesome. Like they really captured the look of the Jurassic Park Triceratops, not the Jurassic World Triceratops. In my opinion, this very much so looks like the Jurassic Park Triceratops. And they've done a very good job on the actual paint application as well, even though the Triceratops from Jurassic Park is actually a grayish color, kind of looks brown because it's kind of like covered in dirt and stuff. But I believe the Triceratops itself was actually gray. We have it here more of a brownish color, so it kind of resembles the like, again, slightly dirty version like we see in Jurassic Park. But it looks really nice, and they've done a very good job of actually giving us paintwork through the entire figure that gives it that fully painted look and feel. So easily, in my opinion, the single best Triceratops we've had from Mattel so far. Yes, I would absolutely say this is even better than the Hammond Collection version. So without further ado, let's jump to a closer look at it right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt of our Triceratops, you can see we have really nice looking skin texture through the course of the figure. You can also see some slightly darker tones here around the eye. It also has kind of like a glossy look to it like a slight satin shine to that area so it kind of helps that area to stand out but the wrinkling and creasing there all around the eye socket looks really nice you can see the nostrils and again the skin texture looks fantastic you've also got some pretty nicely painted eyes with an orangish tone I'm a little sad to see that we have a brown pupil rather than a black pupil but I don't think it's enough to really cause the figure to look awkward or anything still looks pretty darn nice as you lead up here you've got some very nice looking detailing there in the beak and yes, you actually have an articulated jaw on the Triceratops. On the inside of the mouth, you can see a nicely sculpted tongue with a nice pinkish tone there. And then we also have, again, this kind of like a uh, light brown or like a tan color for the beak. Same deal for the horns as you lead up. You can see all of the horns are painted. They all have that very nice realistic detail to it, again, with all the cracks and crevices that you would like to see for something like this. And then as you lead up into the frill, you can also see that the horns that run around the entire frill also still have that nice coloration like we have up here and we also have a darker tone of brown that kind of runs up around the frill and it has a very smooth transition as you lead from that darker tone in toward the center of the frill and again as we transition back to the initial brown that we have that's more of like the majority of the body color so that looks really nice very nice realistic transitioning there the uh Tones of color used on this look nice and naturalistic on top of everything. And again, you can see the skin texture looks incredible. This one would be a really fun one to repaint and kind of give that more Jurassic Park coloration to that kind of classic gray color that we believe the Triceratops should be in Jurassic Park. And again, I think it looks really nice on this side as well, pretty much just as nice as it did on the initial side. I don't really see a whole lot of sloppiness or anything. Maybe some slight paint sloppiness there at the bottom of that horn, but overall it looks pretty nice. We also have some really cool articulation in the neck. You can move the neck up, you can move the neck down pretty far, and you can also move it to the left as well as the right. So you actually have the ability, let's move it over here to really give you a good idea. You can see you can swivel that head and neck around all over the place, giving you really, really nice, very, very smooth 
articulation in the head and neck area. Some of the nicest articulation I think I've seen on a Mattel figure. As you lead down here to the underside of the Triceratops as well, you can see a different shade of brown here running along the underside of the throat, leading back here into the underside of the dinosaur and you can see again some nice looking scale detail nice skin wrinkles and skin folds as you move along as you lead back up here and you look at the back of the frill the frill looks really nice on the rear as well again lots of gorgeous sculpt and detail back there and then as we lead up here to the top of the dinosaur you can kind of make out the spinal column and everything here moving along the back and you can also see that as far as a jurassic park triceratops goes we have those classic osteoderms that you see here and they are all painted except for a few you can see there are actually like a few random ones that didn't get the paint treatment and uh, for the most part it looks okay if you get nice and close you can see that the paintwork is a little bit sloppy here and there but considering it's a mass-produced figure I think it looks really nice it's not like the ankylosaurus figures where like it's already one color and then they kind of like slide it through and the addition of painting those osteoderms is definitely a really nice touch to the figure you can see the same here for the osteoderms running down the course of the thigh we do have some of those osteoderms running down the front leg but those ones did not get the paint treatment but you can see really nice muscle definition moving down the front of the leg you've got the elbow sculpted out back there some nice creasing in the joint of the elbow and then some more osteoderms as you move down and then as you get down into the foot sculpt the foot sculpt looks great but you can see we have painted nails so somehow making this even more exciting is the fact that we have painted nails on the triceratops very nice looking foot sculpt nice creasing in the wrist and nicely sculpted toes and we do have articulation in the front leg you can see it's pretty smooth forward and back doesn't come out away from the body but forward and back quite nicely as you move back into the stomach region you can see some pretty nice girth to the triceratops some nice skin wrinkles and skin folds and stuff as you move up and as you continue to move along you can see kind of like clusters of bumpier scales here running along the spinal column we've also got the hip right here as well and once we move down into the thigh you again see that little area where we actually do have some paintwork for the osteoderms on the thigh but you can also see the muscle definition definitely a big bulky leg right here you've got the kneecap right there as well as a few more osteoderms moving down here in front of the calf and then again the rear foot sculpt looks absolutely awesome especially with those painted nails and the nails have a nice glossy look to them as well adding in extra realism and then as you lead out you can lead out into the tail you've got a few more skin wrinkles and stuff right there and then you've got some more osteoderms poking up here and there again not all of them got the paint treatment but for the most part they did you have a slight curve to the tail at you have a slight curve to the tail as well and again some more nice looking detailing here on the underside you can see that that different tone of brown does end before we actually reach the tail though but we do have some nice articulation in the tail where it can kind of go you know pretty much just like the neck where it goes up and down all over the place so you can really move that tail around and yes it can swivel and then of course you also have the articulation I'm a little bit too close but you also have the articulation of the rear leg again in the hip region forward and back doesn't come out away from the body though only forward and back and then if we turn it around and take a look at everything over here again it looks just honestly beautiful on both sides i think they did a great job on the sculpt a great job on the paint everything on this looks pretty much as fantastic as i imagined it and i'm really surprised to feel how lightweight it is like it is uh definitely hollow of course but it's very very light like shockingly light i wasn't expecting that here is the fax code if you would like to add the triceratops to your collection and uh you know definitely one that i would want to add and i don't really add them all but i'm probably going to be adding this one but that is an absolutely incredible triceratops again definitely the single best triceratops in my opinion from mattel so far and then of course one of the most exciting aspects of this release is the size the triceratops is huge so if we go from the horn to the tail you are looking at about 17 and a half inches or right around 44 and a half centimeters. And then for a height, obviously the highest point is going to be the frill. You are looking at just shy of seven inches. So I would say about six and three quarter inches or around 17 centimeters, maybe even a little bit taller at the highest point. It's a little hard to get that measurement from back here. But for a size comparison, there is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line next to our Habitat Defender Triceratops. And you can very clearly see the size on this is quite massive in comparison to all of these other figures. In fact, it's hiding Mr. Papo Rex back there quite nicely. But for another comparison... 
Here is a Mattel Velociraptor and Dilophosaurus next to our Triceratops, yet again showing you that these figures are quite puny in comparison, as well as a Roravore or Roar Attack style Ankylosaurus, which is also very, very small. We've also got your more standard size range for a Mattel Triceratops, which you can very clearly see is way smaller than our Habitat Defender version, as well as the Hammond Collection version of the Triceratops, and now actually looking at the Hammond Collection version next to our Habitat Defender version. I didn't realize how poorly done the Hammond Collection version was. It's a still a nice figure, but I absolutely think this Habitat Defender version is much, much nicer. Then here is a comparison next to the Extreme Damage Tyrannosaurus Rex, which is about to take a spike right through the throat as well as the epic Roran Tyrannosaurus Rex here next to the Triceratops, yet again showing you that the Triceratops, honestly, I think would win this fight. And then the final comparison that we have here is the Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex next to our Habitat Defender Triceratops to give you an idea of how these figures size up next to each other because I feel like many people were definitely wondering as far as the size goes between these two. Let me actually try to reposition the T-Rex just to give you a little bit more of a less stylized comparison. So there you go, that should definitely help to put into perspective just how large this Triceratops is there as it could absolutely disembowel the Hammond Collection Tyrannosaurus Rex right there. Definitely a really cool visual here to see these two figures next to each other. So this brand new Mattel Jurassic World Dino Trackers Habitat Defender Triceratops is absolutely awesome. In my opinion, the definitive Triceratops from Mattel and an improvement in almost every single way when it comes to every Triceratops we've had so far. The only thing that I would say isn't technically a full-blown improvement would be the articulation because the Hammond Collection version has a little bit more articulation in the legs, but at the same time, this one has an articulated jaw, whereas the Hammond Collection version did not. But overall, I just think everything about this is better than every Triceratops we've had before. The sculpt is great, definitely recreating the look of a Jurassic Park Triceratops, in my opinion, very nicely. I think they really quite captured the look of the body as well as the head sculpt, and I'm pretty much dying now at this point to get another one of these in my collection so I can repaint it, give it a bit more of a realistic look, because I just really feel like it deserves that. But the sculpt isn't the only thing that's great on this because the paint apps are also awesome. We have paint from head to pretty much tail on this. Painted nails, the osteoderms are painted, the inside of the mouth is painted. Everything looks great on this if you ask me. As far as the paintwork goes, the size is drastically larger than any Triceratops has been from Mattel in the past, which is also a massive plus. The articulation is super nicely done, really smooth overall and works great. Definitely allow some gorgeous poses for your Triceratops. So again, overall, a major improvement in my opinion over every Triceratops we've had in the past from Mattel and an absolute must have for any Mattel Jurassic World collector. So if you are interested, I will include a link in the description to Amazon where I purchased mine so you can grab one for yourself. So check that link, go grab this gorgeous Triceratops and also like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in the next review. Thanks for watching.